The GMB Panthers' first Elite League game of the campaign saw them at home at the Capital FM Arena to the Dundee Stars, who travelled from Scotland on the back of a 3-0 shutout victory in the Challenge Cup against the much-fancied Belfast Giants 24 hours earlier. It was going to be an evenly contested affair, and both sides had lots of new faces out there on the ice at warm-up and in the game itself for the coaching staff to cast an eye over. Corey Nielsen and assistant Rick Strachan were hoping for big things from their squad, even though three of them, Bumback, Schultz and Moran, had arrived just days before the first game against the Dundee Stars. But everyone in the building, just over 5,000 of them, knew this one was going to be a tight opener to the new league campaign. Oh, we're feeling real good, you know, we got uh, most of our team in, we're only missing, you know, a couple guys, but, you know, the guys have come in, have done a great job so far, and the boys are excited, so it's the coaching staff to, to finally get it underway. Three guys are going to make their debut for the Panthers today. How are they fitting in? Oh, I think all three of them will fit in uh, you know, nicely. Uh, they haven't been here for a long time, but they're veteran players, very smart, and uh, with some great offensive instincts. Uh, could you tell us someone to single out? Uh, who should we keep an eye on today for a really strong performance? Well, as a coach, I'm just hoping that every single guy has a strong performance. It's early in the year, you, you know, you, you need every guy going. And let's hope tonight that, that everyone plays very well. And let's watch the goalie tonight. I think he's going to have a great game. Thanks, coach. This is on return side, steps one, Dundee starts. we got a fight here. Farmer's another. going at it. Oh, it's Wetmore, I think. No, it's not. Farmer can't get his balance. This is what I was talking about. Farmer wants to get stuck in early and set the physical tone. And uh, he's dropping gloves right after that little tussle by the net there. Caught flat-footed. Clark, he gets it in. Panthers looking to build. It's to Clark. Back of the net, David Clark opens Panthers Elite League account at 17.41. Patient build up on the power play, turned inside. There's so many games through injury, Panthers were missing their inspirational captain. But he pulls the trigger and he rifles it past the Czech goalie, Lacassel. And he's let in his first goal of his Elite League career with the Dundee Stars. Panthers lead by a goal to nil. Yeah, Dundee Stars were actually really pressuring on that penalty kill. Two guys were drawn to Uri Kolnick, who had... Weak side breakout here. Oh, Clarkson showing all the skills, and it's in the back of the net. Clarkson smuggles it out to the left wing. And at 26.39, the Dundee Stars have got back on level terms. It was just a bouncing, smuggly type of... Shuffle pass that ended up on the far side. I think it might have been John Dolan with the final touch. Thought it was offside, so they were making to come out as though it was a floating blue line. Dundee have a chance. Back door, got to be a goal, and it is a goal for the Dundee Stars. And the power play had just four seconds to go. And Panthers have paid the price for going a man down. They've gone a goal behind with 11-10 to go, second period. Dundee score on the power play. Net front, net front presence there. Steve Lee's dropped the gloves here. He was elbowed. He took exception to it. Left's coming in from the Dundee star number 18, Justin Farina. And Steve Lee throws the big bomb of a right. Connects on the chin. And Farina says, get in here, linesman. I thought Stevie was going down, and then he just threw a massive haymaker out of nowhere and got right back in the fight. And a big applause. Good job, see. Stevie Lee. Had a big bad head injury last uh, season. Matthew at the second attempt plays it round the back. And Moses playing on D at the moment. Matthew May shoot. And it's in the back of the net. Keeper thought he got a piece of it. He did get a piece of it, but he didn't get a majority of it. And it trickled over the line. Matthew Myers didn't win the draw, but he's put Panthers back on level terms. And the goal comes at 39-30. Panthers 2, Dundee Stars 2. Lean Weber. Left-handed shot. Doesn't even get that shot away. Left-handed shot again against Lacassil. Gets some speed going. Makes room, shoots upstairs. Knocks the cookie jar off the shelf. Boos ring out around the Capital FM arena. 
Dickinson, left-handed shot, takes it to the right. Weakman stands still and makes the pad save. Mika, Mika, Weakman. Steven Schultz comes on. He can win it for the Panthers. Right-handed shot. Takes it out left. On the backhand, brings it to the forehand, shoots low. It's trickled through. Panthers win it on penalties. Schultz and Bombach with the goals. And Panthers start with a big one in the win column. Great weekend for the Dundee Stars. Two points in the cup, one in the league. But Panthers open their account for 2015-16 with a penalty shootout win thanks to Andy Bombach and Stephen Schultz, not to mention Mika Wiegmann. Panthers netminder Mika Beekman joins us. Mika, great way to start your career for the Panthers in the Elite League with a penalty shootout success. Oh yeah, it's always nice to win and uh, every point is huge in this league. So I mean, uh, we gotta we gotta win these tight games that goes to overtime. That's I think that's gonna make the difference in the end. It was a good game for the fans to watch. You had a bit of everything, and Panthers took the lead. Then Dundee deserved to take the leaders off the Panthers and then Panthers came back into it then we had the sudden death Panthers were all over them and then he went to the shootout and you came up big star yeah I mean it's, it was an exciting game but I think uh, we were a better team overall and uh, we should have won in a regular regular time fans can see us again next weekend home to the Belfast Giants who lost 3-0 in Dundee can't take anything for granted though no absolutely not uh, Belfast is like a great team on the, on paper, so we'll, we'll see what 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 they're gonna come come with here, down here, and uh, <clears throat> we'll obviously do our best and try to win that game too. Mickey, you started with a win. Well done. Thank you.